Hey y'all, what's up? I'm showing you guys the 613 bundle in a 613 wig. And it's very important that you guys go and check this video out because you're gonna need this if you want to make your wig fuller and longer. Alright y'all, let's get down to it. I used the watercolor method to create this. I was home by myself, so I didn't have any assistance with anybody to hold the camera for me. But it's really, really, really easy. These are the two colors that I used, and it's self-explanatory. Of course, I used the orange at the top and the yellow for the ends. It's really, really easy to do. I have maybe four or more watercoloring videos on my channel, but the bundle that I showed you at the beginning of this video I did add that to one side of the wig to give it more length and give it more density. This is a full lace wig, so it's really, really easy to add tracks in between. And instead of doing small braids, I did big under braids, which lay really, really flat. You're also going to take some 91% alcohol to clean your client's skin off because if you don't do this, your lace will not stick. And right now, I'm just showing you how to secure the back of your wig. Whenever you're doing a full lace, you can go ahead and do the same thing you would do in the front. Take some holding spray, spray it on the client's hair, comb upwards, and blow dry until it's stuck. Not stuck, but blow dry until it's molded, if you get what I'm saying. I also do apologize in advance if I sound a little sick because my nose is really stuffy but I'm still making it work out for y'all, period. you're doing the front especially with color hair you want to make sure you get every piece of hair inside of the cap slash wig because you do not want have you don't want to have color hair and have your natural hair color showing that's really tacky and not cute With color or blonde full lace wigs or lace installs in general, you want to make sure you tint your lace. And if you can't get your hands on any lace tint, just use the makeup that matches your skin exactly correctly because this is very, very important. When it comes down to wearing color hair or blonde hair, you need the lace to blend with your skin tone. You also want to blend your cap down with your skin. This is going to create your ball cap when you take a little bit of the lace glue and put it on the very edge of the cap and allow it to dry. Once that step is done, you can proceed with laying your 
three to five layers down and proceed with your install. The lace tint color I used for my client in this specific video is an almond color. I'll place the link down below in the description box, but they sell out really, really fast, so you have to be quick, but it's very worth it. As you can tell throughout my latest videos, how well the lace blends with my client's skin because of the lace tint. You can also use makeup if you can't get your hands on the lace tint, or check out some other videos on YouTube where people show you how to make lace tint. It's all up to you. When it comes down to cutting, you want to make sure, well, in this specific cut, this is going to be an asymmetrical cut. So what I like to do is I like to get the hair that's on the shorter side and I like to comb it backwards because when you cut it exactly how you want it to look, it's kind of hard to explain, but when you cut it exactly at an angle that you want it to look it doesn't really come out right so i like to push the hair backwards and then start to cut because it's going to give you the look that you're going for also when it comes down to your baby hair you don't absolutely have to just cut the edges you can go back a little further this will also give you a more natural look if you put the baby hairs out and then cut a little bit behind the baby hair cut shorter as hair cut shorter hairs as well The reason why I'm cutting upward is because I don't want that super blunt straight across look because it is going to be an asymmetrical bob and that blunt cut on one side isn't really going to blend with the other side. So I'm cutting upward, but I'm still cutting it straight across, but it's not a direct straight across cut. I'm going upward so it can give it a more natural look. And you'll see what I'm talking about when I start to curl and style the hair.
for you all who want to use the boost slash fold wrap method for your baby hair you have to be quick and you have to be precise like i said the lace glue is waterproof but at the same time it's not invincible if you use this method you have to be really really quick precise and like i said move at a quick pace once you have your baby hair bolded you're going to go ahead and wrap them down and sit your client under the dryer the way you'll know they're dry is of course the hair will be dry and it will be molded it'll be a little hard but it's not going to be crunchy hard it's going to be a molded hard I like molding my installs because for one, they last longer. And if you have a client who doesn't really know how to do their hair, curl their hair, fix their hair, this is very important because once it's molded, it's going to stay that way until you wash it out. Also, if you rewind a few seconds back, you'll see when I zoomed in on the scalp. When you mold your hair down, that also allows your install to melt down completely. I'm going to flat iron the hair so you can see what it looks like as the hair is flat ironed and I'm also going to do the roller brush method because I want it to have more of a fluffy look but I just want to show you guys what it will look like if you flat ironed it which I don't really like that look for this particular style so I'm going to use the roller brush method when you're using the roller brush method don't do what I'm doing because this is not correct 100% you have to use the blow dry attachment to control where the air is going But this method is really easy and it comes out really cute. It comes out really natural. And for those who don't really know how to curl, this technique is good for you because you don't have to worry about really curling the hair, bumping the hair, or anything like that. But you do want to put your blow dryer on the hottest level it can go and just continue to roll until you get the results that you're looking for. If you love this look, you can go ahead and use the roller brush method. And for those who don't really know what a full lace wig is, you see how I'm combing the hair in all directions and you don't see any tracks. It just looks natural like her scalp. That's what a full lace wig is. You can part this hair any direction. You can comb this hair any direction and it'll appear like a, a natural scalp. But this is what the cut looks like, what I was trying to explain to you guys. Although it's straight across, it's not a, an even straight across. You can see a little bit of layers and it's natural. You can go ahead and put some oil on it if you want to tone down the volume. And it'll just weigh the hair down a little bit and it'll be a little flatter. It's all up to you. It's all up to your client how you want your install to look. But this is pretty much it. I'm just going to style it, show you guys a few clips. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you recreate this look, please let me know. I really had fun doing this. I'll be doing more colors on my channel very soon. Whatever color you want to see, please comment down below. And I'll be sure to recreate the look for you. And the next time, I'll make sure that I record the two-toned watercolor method for you guys. But see you all next time. And um, yep. Love you guys so much. Peace.